Good evening, ma'am. Can you tell me your first and last name with the spelling, please? Yes, my first name is Heather. My last name is Price, H-E-A-T-H-E-R, Price, P-R-I-C-E. Heather, do you live around here? Not in this neighborhood. I actually live in Old Town Marietta, which is maybe like five minutes away. Did you happen to know the family at all? I did not. I saw the broadcast on the news and decided as a person that lives in the community that I should come over and pay my respects. When you heard it on the news, what was your first reaction? I mean, this can't be something that's easy to ingest, especially knowing th you know this is a, a five-year-old child that has that has gone through so much torment. Well, I, it hit home. Um, I have a six-year-old little boy, and when I heard it, it it broke my heart, and it just kind of crushed me inside, and I just. I, it's so overwhelming and just disgusted. I was disgusted. I cannot believe something like this has happened here. Right, and in, in small town Marietta, no less. And, <laughs> and the fact that, you know, we all think that this can't happen to us. Um, and right. it, 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 I, I, I guess we can't even imagine what, what this poor child has gone through. Can you tell what... When you brought today, you were, you were talking to me earlier, and you, you brought several balloons because you weren't sure which ones to bring. Tell us a little bit about the balloons that you brought. Um, I brought a Spider-Man balloon, a Lightning McQueen balloon, a Get Well balloon, and then the, oh, the, the basketball, um, baseball and football, and then a candle because I didn't know what to bring, so I just brought a little bit of everything to try to make it better for him. Right. Now, without getting into too much into your profession, mm -hmm. is there anything that you want to say to to maybe young ones that might be um, going through similar situations but don't but don't know how to speak up? Is there anything that you want to say? Any words of encouragement? My encouragement is don't be afraid to speak up. No matter what you've been told or what has been said to you or the threats or the bad things or scary things that these people have put on these little children, do not be afraid because you tell one person and it's all gone, you're out. It, 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 you get away. That's the only way to get away. And they're not going to come after your families or kill your you know, parents or because there's all these different scenarios that you hear. And my word is just tell some person, anybody, anybody, just tell anybody so that you can be safe. So it doesn't have to be a school teacher. It doesn't have to be a principal. It doesn't it, have to be a cop. It could be a next door neighbor. It could it be a could friend. Be anybody. It could be a stranger at the store. It could be a friend. It could be, yeah, anybody, anybody. That's anybody. <laughs> well, Heather, listen, I really do appreciate you coming and talking to me. I, I really, I'm sure the, the neighbors and the surrounding community really appreciate you coming and, and leaving these balloons and support. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Have a great night. You too.